today I want to talk about how to get rid of multifloral rows and some of the different uh, techniques that we've tried and the success and failures that we've had. All right, it's got these small leaves. This is in the fall. Um, it's got these small leaves and you get pink and whitish flowers that then develop into these rose hips here. Um, so not really useful for anything. This field used to be almost entirely covered with multifloral rows. So this is what the field used to look like. This is on the edge of the field, uh, except that it was about five or six foot tall. I couldn't see through it when I was driving the tractor through this. I had to stand up on the tractor to make sure I was going in the right direction. Um, but this green part here used to be um, covered with the multifloral rows. And you can see it's still here on the edge. Uh, or how we control it is uh, first we had to brush hog it and that's uh, if, especially if it's a real tall stand you're gonna have to brush hog it so you either have to pay someone to do it we have a tractor so we just uh, bought a um, big brush hog and went over the field we went over it uh, uh, I think for twice once uh, you know every year for two years and that brought the stand down so that the it's just uh, you know everything's less than a foot tall when it comes up and then we use multi-special grazing, so we had cows go through, and the cows don't eat any uh, eat any of the uh, multi-floral rows or, or some of the other weeds. And then we put in uh, sheep behind them, because sheep, and I believe goats would also, uh, sheep love to eat those down those roses, made for great lamb, and uh, and they love to go through and just eat those different plants that the cows leave behind. So that um, we did that for a couple years, and then. Uh, put the broiler pens over the top, we raised pasture raised poultry and the chickens went over the top of that and fertilized it and and since uh, we've done that there's still some that's holding on because the stand was so uh, entrenched uh, and uh, you know it's been there for years and years that we still have a little bit um, but the grass stand now keeps up with it and as long as we manage that fine um, and, and keep the, the grass uh, so that the grass overshadows it we haven't seen it come back. So that's uh, um, some of the techniques that I've used. Uh, Multi-special grazing and good fertilization. Uh, and then manage your pasture so that you're not uh, tromping on it and uh, storing your grass. Make sure you have a good grass stand. Uh, and if you guys have any suggestions, let me know, especially if you guys know how to get rid of soft rush uh, organically and uh, through uh, regenerative practices. Uh, I'd love to see that in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching.